Hi, Leo Drager here. In this video, I want to highlight Crypt Tool. Crypt Tool is an application that you can use to further your uh, crypto analysis background. Um, most of what we do in the field of cryptography comes from the academic world, which is relatively painful because that's where you learn, you know, integrity versus symmetric versus asymmetric, tying it all together with a PKI, etc. Well, this is actually more professionally speaking because it allows you to actually use the tools and give you a much better, much more more fundamental um, hands-on application. So, you know, my website is the cone, of, the code of learning, which is based off of Edgar Dale's the the cone of learning, which basically puts a lot of application in doing this stuff. In other words, you'll know the stuff if you actually do it. This is one of the reasons why I can demonstrate so many of these tools is because I've actually used, um, you know, it just seems like way too many tools. Okay, so let's go ahead and get an idea of one an overview of the program and then how to use a tool like this. So how to start. Crypto is a free e-learning program designed to demonstrate the application and analysis of encryption algorithms. Crypto includes an extensive online help. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, please press F1 while selecting any menu and you'll get the dialog box. Okay, great. Thank you. So crypto, for example, a starting example for the crypto version family, crypto is a comprehensive free educational program, et cetera, et cetera, basically just highlighting what we did there, and that's basically our help. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up a file. Now, I just happen to have a file on my hard drive that I created. Um, uh, which is uh, an encryption.txt, and we'll just go try to open that encrypted file up and basically see what we can learn. Okay, and you can see the the file info. Uh, it's it says it's compressed, but it's actually encrypted. Uh, file info uh, and AEP here. So not too re not not too much in terms of the workflow of this in encrypted file, uh, but nonetheless it does give us the cipher text and maybe we could go ahead and start doing pattern analysis and things like that to just that okay um, so you can basically open up any sort of encrypted file or um, let's try to open up the clear text version of this um, uh, at this point so we'll go back up here um, and we will look for um, uh, I thought we had a text file in there. Let me see what happened to my text file. I think I deleted it when I actually encrypted. So let's go look at. So here we go. Um, plain text. Uh, the txt. Hi mom. Control S. Alt F4. And uh, now we should be able to open that back up in the tool. So there's your plain text, and you can see that it pulls the plain text right out of it. Uh, more so, what I wanted to demonstrate was plain text versus cipher text. Okay, um, so that's the big picture in any sort of symmetric uh, encryption, right? So you can go ahead and take this plain text file, symmetric classic, and look at some of the uh, different algorithms. So you have the Vingineer cipher, uh, basic substitution, you can exclusively or this, you can make a homophone, you can solitaire, skytail. So it's pretty good in terms of um, you know, analyzing and applying some of the basic classic um, cryptography style algorithms. So if we take something like uh, the Caesar cipher, which is a classic um, rotation of 13 places because it's a ROT 13 as opposed to a ROT 3. So Caesar, the value of the first alphabet equals zero. There you go. Let's do alphabetic uh, characters. And basically, you want to shift uh, the number of values. So in this case, the mapping is going to be exactly the same. So that's not going to be uh, any any uh, fun there. So let's pick something like 3. And then you can see A turns into D, B turns into E, um, C turns into F. Or if we do 13, then you can see A turns into N, B, O, C, P, etc. and follow it out. And then go ahead and encrypt that, and then boom, there you go. Now you have the equivalent of the cipher text. Then if you want to decrypt that, you can do the same thing. So take this file, do it 13, and same mapping, and then decrypt it, and then hi mom, come hi mom comes out. 
So then that was the Caesar cipher. And then you could take something like um, Vingineer, which is a, a polyalphabetic. Uh, so enter in the key. In this case, we're going to need a repeating key here. And we could do hi, mom. Uh, now, this in cryptography uh, language was what we would refer to as dumb because now we have a key that is directly related to our message. And so that's basically bad. But nonetheless, we can use it for an example. So you can see that using the uh, Vingineer, which is a polyalphabetic version of Caesar, basically I can get um, uh, basically a cross reference. So we're going to do this again. Um, we're going to do hi mom, decrypt this, and then boom, it comes right back out. Okay. So then we can do asymmetric algorithms. Now the only ones that they have really to play here is uh, the RSA algorithm, as opposed to like um, Elgamal or elliptical curve, or there's no DSA here, uh, or none of the the key exchange algorithms like uh, Diffie-Hellman or IKE or SIGCAMP or anything like that. <clears throat> if you want uh, something a little bit more advanced, you can go into the hybrid mode, and that does have elliptical curve with AES. Uh, but start out at the basics first. I mean, I want you guys to get the basics, Caesar, Vengineer, and then, you know, exclusively or, uh, and then you can move up to some of the advanced algorithms, you know, because a couple hours with this tool and then a couple hours on Wikipedia just researching the basics of the algorithm, you know, that's how you can get some really, really, uh, you know, good, valuable time actually understanding how this stuff works. Okay, if you want to do PKI, you can generate or import keys here. You can digitally sign. You can digitally verify with the corresponding public and private keys. You can extract the digital signature for signing. Um, you can look at hashing. So if I want to take, you know, hi mom and hash it, I can get the value of that. And I could do the same thing at the command prompt if I if I wanted to. Uh, so there, you know, there, all the principles are right here in this tool, which is why this is one of my favorite tool for actually analyzing cryptography. Nothing will drive home the principles of cryptography more than actually using the stuff in a hands-on environment, because this is where you physically get to see that in the asymmetric world you have a public and private key. In the symmetric world, you only have private keys. Um, in the hashing, you don't have any keys. You're just analyzing data. Okay, um, and so it's a, this is a great, <laughs> great um, analysis tool. Plus, you get to learn some of the analysis attacks here. Like, for example, what is a ciphertext only attack? What is a known plain text? Uh, how do you manualize, uh, manually anal uh, analyze it? Um, you can go into some of the other algorithms like Mars and Serpent and Two Fish and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can try to do factor factorization attacks if you're going to do something like RSA. Uh, and you can see you're relating factorization to RSA to side channel attacks, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Uh, so attack the hash value of a digital signature, analyzing the randomness um, attacks, see if it meets the FIPS um, 140 standard. Uh, and then you have plot analysis for spectrums and things like that, uh, which you can use. Uh, that This is too simple here for uh, plot analysis, but nonetheless, when you get to the advanced stuff, you can see that. Okay, um, You also can choose your alphabets and some of the text options and things like that. So go ahead, play with this tool. Spend some time on it. Uh, I find myself, when I was learning this, uh, getting lost in this tool for hours because it was actually verifying and validating all of the stuff that I've actually learned in all of the theory. Okay, So uh, enjoy it. Try the crypt tool. This is going to be paramount in your study of crypto analysis.